guys so it's currently Monday morning my face is looking very strange but I actually have honey on my skin because I just did a face mask and my skin has been a little bit irritated so I thought it might help to kind of soothe it um, but it looks a bit stupid so excuse the shiny face I have been trying to declutter a lot recently well, actually over the last few years, but recently I've been making it a conscious effort to sell things on or give things away. And one of the areas that I actually have a lot of stuff is my makeup. And I find that there's a lot of products that I don't actually end up using. So I'll show you what my makeup looks like. So I currently keep my makeup in this top drawer here. It's just easy for me to get to, but as you can see, it's a little bit of a mess. These uh, crates actually do have categories. So this one's face, this one's eyes, this one's like cheeks. This one is uh, eyes and lips and this one is lips. And then at the back I've got some medicine stuff. And then here I have my eyeshadow palettes. This one is a blush palette. I've got powder and bronzer there. Some spare things in the back like lashes. I have um, some spare sponges. There's one, there's one, and this is a makeup headband. But yeah, I just find that I don't end up using a lot of this stuff, so I think I'm going to sort through it. This probably doesn't look that different, but I've kind of just sorted through the baskets here. This has definitely shown me that I have a lot of lip products because they're spilling into two containers. But these ones are like the more wearable ones, ones that I probably will reach for more. And then these ones are for more colourful ones. And I have a few in mind that I'm going to really try and use up. So hopefully I won't have as many lip products in the future. It's nice having a lot of different options, but you also don't want to have so many that you don't actually end up using them and they just expire. And then these are all the bits that I'm going to get rid of. This eyeshadow palette I have had since I was like 13 and I loved it. As you can see one of the shades is completely gone and yeah I loved those two middle shades so much but it is very old so I think it's time to get rid of it. And then these ones I'm chucking away. For some reason this NYX lip lingerie I loved the color of it and the formula was quite moussey but I had it for like a couple of months and then it kind of split which is really weird and it never went on the same so I'm going to get rid of that. This one is pretty much completely used up and it's super old. Oh I can even wind it up. Look at how much is left. Um, but it's really old so I'm going to chuck that one away. And then this one I bought for a fancy dress ages ago and actually the Jordana lipsticks are really good but it's just really old and I never wear this colour so I'm getting rid of that. And then these things I just never reach for, actually this one is an old eyeliner too, that's going to go. I just never reach for these anymore. I bought this Coralista blush a really long time ago but I just didn't really end up wearing it that much. It's really quite sparkly so... Yeah, I don't think I need that anymore. And then I have this Wonder Bronze. I think it's meant to be a blush. Yeah, but it's more like a bronzer. And it's also very shiny. And I just don't really like shiny things on my face. So that's going to go. I have these two ColourPop concealers. I'm keeping one of the ones I got, which is in the shade Light. But these just oxidize so badly on my face. Um, this one's never been used and this one I've only used once. Um, this one is in medium and this one is in medium tan. So yeah, I think I'm going to see if anyone wants to have these because like I said only one of them's been used once and I feel like I shouldn't chuck them away. This eyeshadow I actually bought for a ball and it's from Bobbi Brown and I just don't really use this. It's a really weird color. It's like a black shimmery plum color and in hindsight I just don't really think it's a very flattering color so I'm probably just gonna see if anyone wants that. I also have this Thin Lizzy Compact. Uh, I did actually use this quite a lot but I found that it was also shimmery. I think it's so it gives a natural finish but it just didn't look very good on my skin so I think I'm just gonna get rid of that one. 
And then I have a bunch of these Estee Lauder little eyeshadow palette things. And I think they're a really good idea, but I just don't really end up using them because my other eyeshadows are better. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to see if anyone else wants these. And if they don't, then just chuck them away. I'm also going to get rid of this Tanya Burr palette. I don't know if you can see, but it's a really powdery palette. It gives up a lot of kickback when you use it. I don't know if you can see, but the whole thing is really shimmery. I've used that bronzer quite a bit, but I just don't think it looks very good on my face at all. So I'm going to see if anyone else wants this one. Hey guys, so it's currently Friday and I'm getting ready for a weekend of gigs. I have four this weekend and one of them is this afternoon, so I'm about to put on some makeup. I really wasn't feeling the best this morning. Over the last few days I felt really tired and, I don't know, run down and I don't know why. So I was worried that I was getting sick, but when it comes to the middle of the day I feel fine. So. Yeah, it's been a bit of a slow start, but I've actually had a productive morning and I had a really yummy lunch, so I'm feeling much more alive now. <laughs> so like I said, I'm about to do some makeup and I'm thinking of doing a pink kind of eyeliner look. I probably won't wear this outfit, so it shouldn't clash. It's been quite cold in the evenings now, so I'm probably going to have to dress nice and warm because I'm going to be outside. So this is how the makeup turned out. I haven't done a lip yet because I'm going to make myself a coffee, I think. What's the time? It's 2.47 in the afternoon and I'm playing at the Point Share food truck market tonight that starts at 4.30 and I'll be getting dinner there, which I'm really excited about because their food is super nice. So yeah, I'm going to go clean up the kitchen now and make myself a coffee.
Hey guys, so it's Monday. Oh, my phone interrupted me. It's Monday today and I'm having a really chill day today. I don't know if you can tell, but my voice is quite low and crackly. I can't remember if I told you guys, but I have been feeling pretty sick over the last kind of five, six days, especially over the weekend, which was unfortunate because I had four gigs. I still did them, but I felt really bad, especially on Friday, Saturday. Sunday, I didn't feel as bad because I had taken some medicine to try and help myself feel better but I just feel really bunged up in my nose. Luckily my throat doesn't hurt, but my voice is quite husky and yeah, I don't know, my energy levels have been really low. When I first started feeling bad, I just felt really tired. Uh, but then as the days went on, my voice just started getting lower and lower and uh, yeah, kind of snotty nose and yeah, just grossness. <laughs> So like I said, I'm having a really chill day today. I have done some kind of work bits, but I've been trying to kind of turn off and not be thinking about too much stuff. And I've just been at home all day. I actually want to go to Browns Bay now because I need to renew some library books. I need to deposit some money. I need to, what else? I need to go to the supermarket. And yeah, I just thought I can do those things today because they're not going to take too much energy. I had a pretty good sleep last night too, which I think definitely helped because I haven't been sleeping the best. And you can probably tell from my face that I haven't been resting very much. So yeah, this vlog has been pretty all over the place, but I just wanted to show you guys what really goes into playing gigs and uh, yeah, it's not always glamorous. Sometimes I don't feel the best, but I still have to you know, put on a smile and be positive and just get through them sometimes. I still enjoyed them even though I wasn't feeling too good. I actually just completely forgot to mention where I actually played. So on Friday I played at the Point Chev market which is like a food truck market and that was the last one for the summer season I guess because we're going into the colder months and you could definitely feel it because I was playing outside it was quite cold and even though I dressed up nice and warm I think singing outdoors didn't really help the fact that I wasn't feeling very good because I was breathing in the cold air and then on Saturday, I played at the Craftsnoon Tea Market in Albany, which is a craft market. And it was raining really badly that day, but it was alright because it's indoors. Uh, but that definitely didn't help me feeling really tired. On rainy, gloomy days, it always makes me feel more tired, so... Uh, that was quite an effort to push through. I absolutely love the people who run the Craftsnoon Tea Market, and all the store holders are so nice, so... Having all those positive people around me and people who just want to make me feel better uh, really helps, you know, it's always nice to have people who support you. And then on Saturday night I actually played at a joint 40th birthday party and it's really funny how I got that gig. The woman whose birthday it was actually saw me playing at the Round the Bays run and ran past and managed to catch my Instagram handle on my poster and messaged me and asked me if I wanted to play some tunes at their party. And it went really well. Like I said, obviously it was hard because I wasn't feeling 100%, but they were so encouraging and all of their guests were really welcoming, even though they obviously hadn't seen me play before. And yeah, it was a really cool gig for me because I've been playing at weddings and engagement parties and things like that, but uh, I haven't done a birthday party yet and and it was definitely a different feel, but really fun. And on Sunday, I played at the Catalina Bay Farmer's Market, which is kind of a combination of fresh produce and craft things. And they've got some really yummy food there too. And it was a nice sunny day that day, so lots of people were getting ice cream. And that was good that it wasn't raining that day because obviously it was outside. And even though there was a gazebo up for me, which is really nice, it still would have been a lot harder if it was raining and also not as many people would have come I'm sure so that was a really good day for it to be sunny and oh I just love playing at markets because the kids are always so funny there were so many kids who were dancing along and giving me cheeky little looks as they walked past and I don't know it just puts a smile on your face and it's always interesting playing at markets because every single one is different 
And then once I finished playing up at the market, I went home and then got ready to go out because one of my friends was having a little birthday get together. And it was quite a nice way to finish the weekend off, even though I wasn't feeling the best. I definitely felt better than I had the days before. And it was nice to just chill out and have a nice drink and some food with friends and yeah, just relax and, and know that I had done all my work for the weekend. And like I said today, I'm just chilling out, trying not to stress, trying not to worry about too many things and just allow myself to have a day where I just look after my health because I'm not gonna be able to do all the gigs that I want to if I don't take care of my voice and yeah, I'm just gonna be too tired if I keep uh, working all the time. <laughs> It's a hard balance because sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough and I feel like I could be doing so much more with my days and being so much more productive. But then on the other hand, I've kind of burnt myself out a little bit and now I feel really tired and exhausted and uh, I'm not going to get anything done if I'm like this. So Anyway, I've been rambling on too long now, so uh, maybe it's because I haven't been out of the house yet today. Uh, but there's one more thing I wanted to show you before I go out. I actually made a Colourpop order about a week, a week and a half ago, and it just arrived today. And it's just a couple of makeup bits. I've tried some stuff from Colourpop before, but all the things that I ordered I haven't tried yet, so I'll just show you what I got quick. So it's all out of its packaging now, but this is what I got. So I got this lip bundle and it's a Kathleen Lights collaboration because I have had my eye on it for a really long time and it was on sale when I went on the website and you're already saving money with the bundle, but then it was on sale as well. So I thought it was definitely worth a uh, purchase and it came with these three lippies. So the left and right are liquid lipsticks and the middle one is a gloss. And what I liked is that the formula of the liquid lipsticks were the satin lip formula because I've tried the ultra matte lip and it's so drying. Any kind of skin on your lips just is accentuated and it accentuates all the wrinkles and it's just way too dry. So I'm really looking forward to trying out this formula and seeing if I like it more and I think I will from the reviews that I've read. And yeah, the gloss just looks like a really nice nude gloss. I have the Fenty Beauty Original Gloss, but that's quite pink, so I'm looking forward to seeing if I like this one. Then the main thing that I wanted out of this order was this palette, and unfortunately when I opened it up, it was a little bit broken. I'll insert a picture of what it looked like, uh, but I kind of managed to fix it. So this is what it looks like now. As you can see, the middle one I just kind of smushed in there because it was all cracked, but I think it'll stay in there now like I've tipped upside down and it doesn't look like it's gonna fall out. And I'm sure it'll still perform really nicely. It's just that it's like a glittery kind of formula. Like I don't know if you can see, but the bottom left is kind of similar in that it looks like it's sort of a looser, glittery shimmer rather than the other ones that are more small particles of glitter. But yeah, it was unfortunate that it was broken. I've only ever made one Colourpop order before this and nothing was broken, so yeah, it is a shame that it was slightly broken, but I still think I'll use it and it'll be fine. But yeah, I thought it looked really pretty and I feel like my skin tone will suit these purpley colours. And I've definitely used pink in my collection before, um, but yeah, I just thought there were a lot of colors in here that I don't really have, so other than maybe bare minimum, I have one that looks quite similar to that, but the rest of them I don't have any that look like that, so yeah, I'm really excited to try them out. I'll probably end up trying them out tomorrow. I'm just going to have a makeup free day today, even though I'm kind of tempted to put some on, but I'm just lounging around the house and I need to go to the library, like I said, so I don't want to really put on a full face of makeup for that. And then the next things I got are these Jelly Much eyeshadows. I got two shades because I sort of wanted to, yeah, experiment with them with different looks. So the two shades I got are Foxes and Origami. And as you can see, they're both kind of in the same color family. This one's like a bronzy gold, and then this one is a yellow gold. And gold is definitely my favorite color eyeshadow to wear. And I think it looks the most flattering on me. Even though I've got brown eyes, I think it kind of makes the brown stand out, or even the green kind of parts of my eyes stand out. And they're a kind of liquid eyeshadow. And I swatched this one before, and it looked really cool. So... I'm excited to see how they wear and 
if they are like pigmented on the eyes and yeah just try a different formula because I've never used uh, any liquid eyeshadows or anything like that other than the Stila Magnificent Metal one in Kitten Karma and that one's like a glitter whereas this one is more of like a sheen I'll definitely show you when I try them out but yeah I'm really excited to try those and see if I can use them with lots of different looks. And then the last thing is just a little addition because I was really close to free shipping and if I didn't uh, buy this, I would have just paid the same amount to add shipping on anyway. So this is a lip scrub. Oh, so this is a lip scrub and it's called By the Bushel. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> but it smells really nice and I've never used an actual lip scrub and I'm thinking kind of going into the winter months, it might be nice to have something that'll make my lips uh, a bit better for lipsticks and things like that. So I think the combination of the lip scrub with the liquid lipsticks is gonna be really cool. And yeah, that's all I got. And I always love the ColourPop packaging. It's so nice. And I'm surprised that this eyeshadow palette did sort of break because it was bubble wrapped up really, really nicely. I'll try and explain to you what I think happened. So I don't know if you can tell, but the packaging is plastic and this part here that holds all the shadows in place looked like it had lifted up in the center and then this shadow had like scooted underneath the protective cover and I don't know if you saw in the picture but this bottom shade here as well this pink one had slightly moved under as well it's lucky that one didn't break because mattes are harder to press than the shimmers but yeah it kind of slid underneath so in order to fix it I just sort of pulled the shadow back into place and then pushed the middle of this down and it held it back in place again. So I think that's what happened, but I'm not sure whether it happened in transit or if it happened in the manufacturing. Maybe that's just a warning to you if you're wanting to get this palette or they have this style palette in a few other colors as well. Like the green one looks so nice, but it looks like they're all the same packaging. So hopefully that doesn't happen to anyone else but that could maybe be an issue with these shadows in this kind of packaging but like i said i still think i'll get i'll get good use out of it you can kind of see the colors better if i turn it towards the window like that that bottom left shade is really interesting it looks kind of silvery taupey in real life with purple through it too but in the camera it looks more greeny teal i don't know it's really cool i'm really excited to use it guys so it's just gone 5 30 i think i just had to go at making a recipe from my new little bird um, bakery book um and it's currently setting in the fridge so it's in here setting and you're supposed to set it for an hour but i'm actually going out to pick up some curry for dinner so i think i'm just gonna leave it in there and then take them out of the molds in the morning hello I'm really looking forward to curry and a movie night, so yeah, just a perfect way to end my relaxing day.